Hello guys, this is Jailbreaker909. Today I'm just going to show you how to um, downgrade your iPod from 4.2.1 to 4.1. Um, I mean, iPod, iPhone, iPad, um, just any device you want to restore from 4.2.1 down to 4.1, uh, most likely because you might have accidentally upgraded or something. And um wanted to downgrade because there isn't a, a jailbreak for it besides uh, red snow but anyways um here it is it is 4.1 here's an ipod now um if you're looking to downgrade an iphone it will not downgrade the baseband so you're kind of screwed there but right there it is 4.2.1 um now before you do this go ahead and click my link right here so you can go and save your ssh blobs you must do this before um so you can jailbreak it once you get down to 4.1 so make sure again go ahead and click right there before you continue pause the video click on it right there and go watch my video on how to um, save the SHSH blobs and um, okay now to first of all you must go into your internet browser make sure it is not Internet Explorer um, Firefox Chrome and the new um, rock Melt will work fine and you're gonna go ahead and click the link in the description and it'll bring you to this page right here um, so again, um, go down there to the description and click the links. And um, basically, you're gonna want to come down here. I know you can't see it, but you're gonna go and look through your firmware. Now, one thing I do have to stress is to make sure you do have the right firmware because um, I actually have the iPod Touch um, MC model, which I got last year at Christmas, and I and I downloaded the 3G. Because um, right here, I know you can't see it that good, but you do have um, 3G and 2G iPods. So um, mine was a 2G. I got 3G because I was incorrect, and so the firmware was not compatible. So if you do, if when you go to do this, it says not compatible. You down, you downloaded the wrong firmware. I'm sorry. Go ahead and download the the, the right one. Okay, we're well, gonna go ahead and download it and make sure it's saved to your desktop now this is going to take a while to download it, it's a pretty big file so make sure it's saved to your desktop as mine is there and you're going to want to go ahead and open up iTunes now when you go ahead into iTunes you're going to want to click while clicking shift while clicking while holding shift right here in the bottom oh, you can't see it but while clicking shift you want to want to click restore and then the box will come up this is why you must save it to your desktop. Um, you just go through there, find find the right firmware. Let me see which one's mine. Okay, you go ahead and click on it, and then click open. See if you did the, if you downloaded the right firmware, this will show up. If not, it'll show that the firmware was incompatible. And you can just gonna go on and help go ahead and click right there, restore. It'll say verify or whatnot and extracting the software now I'll welcome back in a little bit now this is going to be pretty much like a basic restore so it's nothing out of the usual um as you see there my my pods um turning off whatever it's extracting the software preparing it whatever you get this little the apple startup logo um again like i said it is like a normal startup then you get the little loading bar um it'll load all the way up then um, once it loads up, it, it'll process it some more, and then you'll get another bar. And if once it fills up, your um, your your downgrade will be complete. And I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, here I'm just gonna show you that the restore is going good. Um, you have some progress right there, um, as well as in iTunes. And I'll come back in a little bit again. Okay, it is now verifying the iPod software. And um, yeah, guys, um. I'm very happy I found out a way to do this because um, my iPod got messed up with the jailbreak I had on 4.1 so I was forced to upgrade to 4.2.1 and I found this um, very easy way to downgrade it and as you say, there it is, it's verifying it it's almost full in the iPod just a couple more seconds and yeah guys, um, like I said before you do this make sure to click right there 
and go to save the SH blobs. You must do this before if you want to jailbreak. So go ahead and click right there to go to the SH to save the SH SH blobs. And there um it's almost finished. It just says restoring the iPod firmware. And there it is. And it's just about finished. Okay, and right now a little um text box came right here saying that the firmware that the restore was complete and that my iPod will be restored to factory settings as soon as it turns on and it is now turning on. Okay, and um there goes my iPod turned back on saying connect to iTunes and yeah, um this does work so long as you get the right firmware and as you can see there works just fine. There was absolutely no problem with it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and set up as a new iPod. Simply because I don't want to put all the music in it right now. Go. I don't want to update the music. Or anything right now. I'm just going to show you real quickly that. It did downgrade to 4.1. And there you have it guys. Um, I did downgrade from 4.2.1. To 4.1, it is possible. Um, so yeah, guys, if if this worked for you, please thumbs it up. Would do me a favor. Go ahead and click subscribe up there for me, please. Um, I do have a giveaway coming up, so um, you will be notified of that. And please, and if you have any trouble with it or it does not still doesn't work for you after after you um tried just and tried and it did not work, please leave a comment below or a personal message me. Um, but most likely I will respond if it's through a comment. So yeah, um, just let me know. And if it is a problem with saying that the firmware is not compatible, please try downloading one until it is correct. Because I did have this problem, and it was saying the same thing until I downloaded the correct firmware. And yeah, guys, um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you until next time. Bye.